using this simple table that I drew in previous um, in a previous video, I'm going to demonstrate how um, I put a, an edge profile on the table top. Um, there are probably a number of different ways to do this, but uh, the way I usually do it would be like this. Uh, I'm going to edit this component using the line tool. I'm going to draw a, what I would maybe call as a palette to draw my um, profile on. So I've just selected an edge. I've come out from in a half inch and down three quarters and back. Okay, so here I have basically a little square where I'll draw um, the profile. For the sake of this uh, video, I'm going to just do a simple um, rounded profile like this. So essentially that's the profile that I want to have around this entire tabletop. I'm going to erase these uh, extra lines. I'm going to back off and um, using the select tool I'm going to select the perimeter of the tabletop. So essentially this is the path that I would like that decorative profile um, to be attached to. Okay, so now we're ready to do it. It's really quick and simple. So now I'm going to select the follow me tool, which is very, which is similar to the push pull tool, with the exception that it follows a path. In this case, it's going to follow a pre-selected path. Now, don't worry that the path is no longer selected. It remembered it. Now I'm going to using the follow me tool, I'm going to select the profile that I want um, to follow that line. And boom. As quick and easy as that, you have a nice rounded profile to your table. And of course that profile can be complex, more decorative, simple, um, whatever you um, would prefer. But uh, the follow me tool can be used in that way for any number of things. So um, that's, uh, that's the technique I use.